cuadrado de equation, you need to write the cuadrado de equation in standard. Ajá, standard is that way. Yes, in case how you identify because right hand side is zero. Must be zero. Ah, uh, you organize in descending order of the degree. Degree two, degree one, que es invisible, and degree zero, que es also invisible. So basically, this is my. Oh, 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 oh. No X. Uh -huh. No, unfortunately, not always. Not always. We have this uh, format, nice. But you need to manipulate. So the step zero to start any problem is, is present in the standard. Uh -huh. And I bring another example in which involve fractions. Uh, you know how we eliminate the fraction in algebra. Now for solving this equation, we're using the famous quadratic formula, minus b, plus and minus, square root, b squared, minus 4ac, divided by 2, everything divided by 2. This is the quadratic formula. This is the quadratic equation, and this is the quadratic formula, okay, it's using for solving the quadratic equation. Okay, example 12, x squared, plus x plus 5. Oh, nice. Nice, it's, it's already in the standard. You immediately identify who is ABC. It's obvious that A is 1, B is 1, and C is 5. This idea is clear or not? It's clear or not? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Now substitution. Substitution this value in this formula is negative one plus a minus square root one square minus four multiplication by a k one multiplication by c k five divided by two times one k a. Uh -huh. I try to explain my way. My way is you plug it in without do any operation. No, no, no. After that, we are doing the operation inside the radical because it's the first, according to the order of operations, is the first thing you should do. The one square is one, bang, minus, uh -huh. In this case, 4 times 1 is 4, times 5 is 20. Okay, it says minus 19. And now you apply the square root. Okay, this is square root is this big square root that have the formula, no? Uh -huh. And you find, wow, it's a square root of a negative number. I know very well that this is like an imaginary number. Remember, it's i and the square root 19, we cannot simplify because 19 is a prime number. You copy so far, minus 1 plus or minus i radical 19 divided by 2. You can leave it like that. You can leave it like that. But much better, in my opinion, is split this common denominator because the format for the complex number is you copy the real part first, but the part that do not contain i, and the imaginary part secondly. So in my opinion, much better is negative one half plus or minus a i radical 19 over 2. It's equivalent, you know, there are no too much differences. Uh, and remember uh, the when the solution of the quadratic equation is uh, is complex, the complex coming by pair of conjugate, conjugates plus or minus. So a different side. Basically, in my mind, I know okay, we have two solutions. The first solution is negative one half plus i radical 19 over 2, comma, negative one half minus i radical 19 over 2. And this is called a conjugate complex number. It's the same number. They are family, but 
the imaginary part and one is positive and the imaginary part and the other is negative. However, the real part is the same. It's called a conjugate. And all we have it. The solution when it's complete is coming by pair of conjugate. This is obvious that the answer is the option A. Any question? No problem. Question? No? Are you there or you are sleeping? Come on. Answer me. All right, let me check it. No. Okay. Okay. At least for the chat. Got it. Okay, got it. Just doing this practice. Today is the day to practice quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. Uh -huh. I am in the school and he, the Wi-Fi is a bit unstable. Wow. And why you are in the school? Because you, you are another class after this, no? This is your first class. Okay, got it. I understand. See, normally when you, when you put the camera, I see that you are in the library. Okay. You are doing very well, Karim. Excellent student you are. Okay, let me try. Okay, I copy right. No, no problem. Okay, I copy right. 5x squared minus x, 5x plus. Okay, okay. Again, this equation is already in standard. Nice. Identification a is 5. B is negative 5. Be careful with the signs and see if possible. I'm plugging in, in the formula. I copy the formula always. Okay. B is negative five. So be careful. Not always happen, but frequently happen. We have minus of the value of the B. And we have minus of the formula. So you put together like that minus this minus this. And you plug in negative 5. You see clear that double minus become positive. So say in my mind is better. I don't know, see, you want step by step, but in my opinion, when you see it be a negative, I know that the formula have a minus and become positive directly. Plus or minus the square root negative five a square minus four multiplication by five multiplication by seven divided by two times five. Okay. Okay, so we focus in the solution in the computation of the quadratic formula. Always we are doing the part inside. And the part inside negative 5 squared 25 positive. Okay, you know when you have negative number, right? And you square negative 5 times negative by itself by negative 5 positive 25. And we have in the second part is 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 times 7 is 140. Minus 140. And now subtraction. 140 minus 25 is 100. Negative, of course. 150. Uh -huh. Now you apply square root. Again, we have imaginary solution. Because remember, square root inside we have negative number is imaginary. Is I. A square root one one five and one one five maybe is possible simplification i don't know but at least i try one one five is divisible by five because any number get ending in five or zero 
is divisible by five. F five, yeah. F five and twenty-three. Wow. Unfortunately, twenty-three is prime. Five is prime. We have no couple to select. Therefore, the the solution live like that. So now is so far we have five plus or minus i radical one hundred fifteen divided by ten. Leave it like that. Oh, 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 separate. 5 over 10 plus or minus i square root 115 over 10. And 5 over 10 is 1 half plus or minus i radical 115. In this case, no simplification. However, in the multiple choice, I don't know why. No separate real power, imaginary power. Okay, okay. Okay, I respect that. It's five plus or minus, yeah. Minus five or plus five? Plus five. See, so plus five, and then I suppose it's the option B. Look, the option B, the option A is the only option can contain I, imaginary number. Therefore, one is negative, one is positive. So it's the positive part, it's good. Question. No? It's easy, eh? Okay. I, to, I know. Okay. 14. 14 is 2m squared equal Minus 10m minus 1. Okay. Okay, this example brings me the new idea. What is the new idea? Okay, the equation gets given. I know very, very well. Okay, it's quadratic. Look at that. However, this equation is no is present in a standard. That's a super big mistake. The student do not organize in a standard. E I suppose que A is 2, B is minus 10, and C is minus 1. This is completely wrong. This is completely, completely wrong. It's important to understand that first of all, you need to organize in a standard. You move everything to the left or to the right. I prefer to the left. 2m squared plus 10m plus 1 equals 0. Now you see, wow, A is 2, B is 10 positive, and C is 1. All right? Okay, one more time I copy my formula. Because I need to memorize, definitely. Okay, so A is substitution, plugging in. This is not minus 10. Plus or minus, square root. 10 square get B minus 4 multiplication by 2 multiplication by 1 divided by 2 times 2. As always, guys, order you need to respect the order of operation. And the first operation that you should do is the operation inside, inside the radical. Because the radical working like a grouping symbol. Okay, it says 100 minus something, minus 8. And 100 minus 8 is 92. No? Yeah, I suppose. 92. Okay, that's basically square root. It's a 92. Square root this, square root this. And maybe it's possible. Simplification 92, because I know 92 is even number, right? It is 92, like one corner of the piece of paper, I copy 92 divided by 2 is 46. 46 is also divisible by 2, because ending in even number, because 6 no? divided by 2 is 23. And 23 is prime, therefore it's top. But at least I know a couple of two. 
get this couple to go outside the radical like we want to. And so far, my answer is minus 10, plus or minus. No i, because we have no negative inside the radical. It's, both, it's real. But of course, it's irrational. Because there's a square root of the primary number, which is 23. No? It's 2 radical 23 divided by 4. And leave it like that? No. No, 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 no. No, because I saw that the coefficient C10, 2, and 4 are even number, right? So therefore, I can simplify. How you can simplify? Remember, it's totally illegal simplification when you have in between expression plus or minus. However, we are doing the greater common factor first and the, the top gets to factor out to we have minus 5 plus or minus radical 23 over 4. And now ready to simplification because when it's time, yes. Divided by 2, 1. Divided by 2, 2. The answer is minus 5 plus or minus radical 23. I remove the binary because I don't need. Why I don't need? Because the factor is cancel out. And it's 1 and 1 is invisible. Divided by 2. Okay, in this case, we have two solutions, as always. Is, as always, no, uh, the, normally, the quadratic equation have two solutions. Sometimes, no, sometimes have only one, but also it's weird. And this is real, and this is irrational, because somehow involved the square root of the 23 is a primary number. Okay, okay, okay. So now let me try to select the correct answer. It's 23, 23. It's minus 5 after the simplification. Look at that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me check it again. 25, yeah. Yeah. Close on mine. They separate by comma and using double signs. So maybe one good idea. I don't know. Is solution set is a minus five pro radical twenty three over two plus sorry comma minus five minus radical twenty three one okay uh -huh. see the expression inside the radical is positive. The solution are real. Okay. In this case, the number inside the radical is no perfect square. That's mean that our solution is irrational solution. As the perfect square is nice, but not always is nice. Okay, let's move on to the 15. So you have no question. No question. No. 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 Okay, 15, the new thing you bring me is, wow, one of two things bring me. Bring me fraction, boy, I don't like fraction. Is C squared over three equal C over two plus five over six. Okay, it's obvious, number one, get quadratic equation. Look at that, these two indicate us quadratic equation. It's obvious also that it's no expressing a standard. And we have fraction. And nobody plugging in fraction number inside the quadratic. This is crazy. This is totally crazy. Nobody. Because you know very well this fact. You find the LCD. LCD obviously is six, no? I think it's all right. Using intuition, not necessarily the rule that you know very well, no? It's six because, okay, I repeat the rule. The number in the denominator is three, two, and six. And three is prime, two is prime, but six is no prime, it's composite, and you break it down in three and two. How many three you need to take? Only one. How many two you need to take? Only one, and three times two is six, okay? That the LCD is six, and you multiply the entire equation by six. 
Uh -huh. When you are doing this action, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2c two squared equal 6 divided by 2 is 3c. And 6 divided by 6 is 1, does it 5. Bang! This equation, okay, in that moment we get, is equivalent 100% to the original. However, it's nice because we have no fraction. It's totally stupid working with the fraction. No, you find the LCD, multiply the entire equation by the LCD. Wow, magically, we have a, a same equation, but a nice with the whole numbers and no fraction anymore. Now, is it ready to start? No, because it's no expressing a standard. So you copy 2c squared minus 3z minus 5 equals 0. Okay, now you, this is a crucial moment. Okay, you identification a, b, and c. a is 2, b is negative 3, and c is negative 5. And be careful with the sign in the formula. Look at that. In the formula, I want to copy any time because definitely I need to memorize because we are using in college algebra is the next subject every day from the first day to the last day in complicated problems. No, it's because uh, the quadratic equation is, oh, is one step you are doing automatically in college algebra. You are doing complicated problems and suddenly happen that the equation is quadratic. Okay, so now you, you need to do fast. Okay, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. So it's minus b, but b is negative, double negative becomes positive. Plus and minus, square root, 3 squared, or minus 3 squared, sorry. Minus, be careful with the sign. For multiplication by 2 gets a positive 2. However, c is negative 5. Everything inside the rank. And the denominator, we have 2a, 2a, 2a. I forgot a. 2 times 2, that's 4. Okay, okay. According to the order of operations, we focus c 100% in the, in the expression inside the rank. Okay, the first thing that you should do, compute that. It's a 9, positive 9, of course. And negative and negative. I see double negative become positive again. It says uh, 40, no? 40, 40, 40, because uh, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 5, 40. And it's a 49. And you apply now the famous square root to have the formula. In this case, yes, nice, because 49 is perfect square. So the answer is 7. That's me. Okay, the answer that we spent in this problem is no irrational, it's rational. Okay, cool. I like that. Therefore, you copy, you copy, you copy. Look at the my organization. 3 plus or minus 7 over 4. Uh, it was in that moment, in that moment, I split this expression con con and two expression. 3 plus 7 over 4. And three minus seven over four. Okay. Uh, and three plus seven is ten over four. We can reduce the lowest term because I know the ten and four both are even number. And divided by two is five over two. Okay, this is my first solution. And the second solution is three minus seven is negative four. And negative four divided by a positive four is negative. Therefore, the solution set of this quadratic equation is. 5 over 2 and negative 1. Let me check in, check in, check in. 5 over 2 and negative 1. There you go. Option C. Negative 1 and 5 over 2. Can you follow me? Complicated or easy? Okay, this example was cool because this example illustrate me or illustrate us. Number one, how we uh, Clear fractions. This is a classic in algebra. Uh, number two, expressing a standard. Number three, apply the formula. Uh -huh. And so you see the most common and typical example is the number inside the radical is perfect square. 
89 or 36 or 81 or 100. So then we have two real uh, rational. Rational. Rational means that the answer you can write like a fraction or a whole number. Irrational is impossible to write like a fraction or whole number. And this is the classical example in which somehow involving the square root of the primary number. 23, 11, 7, this is irrational. Square root 7, square root 5, square root 11, square root 23 is irrational. Cool? Yes. No? Okay. One more. Similar. Okay. Uh, this 16. 16 is 3 over 4 fraction again. 3 over 4 x squared is the variable is s plus 1 half s plus 1 over 2. Okay, nice. It's already expressing a standard. However, the only problem, the only disadvantage is okay, it's a fraction. No? Just what is the least common denominator between 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 four, two, and twelve? Could you help me? Using intuition, no, no systematic way. What is the LCD? Let me see if you understand very, very well. S12, super. Everyone understand this or no? Remember, LCD is completely different to the greater common factor. Greater common factor always is smaller. Least common denominator, no, it's bigger. The multiplier is multiple. Okay, do you, do you understand this or I, I need to... This is intuition, however, uh, they are a, a systematic procedure, no? Okay, explain your moment, no? I do, do you want to do again or no? With the systematic procedure, break it down four, two, and 12, and select the factor. No? no yes or no? No. 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 Perfect. Now, I'm multiply by 12. This action allow me, allow me, clear the fraction. And it's as easy, look at that. I prefer divide and multiply because when you divide, you get the small number. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 3, 9. X squared. Plus 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 12 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Bam, this is my new equation. This is my new equation. Uh -huh. Without, without, without. A fraction. Does the identification A is 9, B is 6 positive, and C is 1 positive. Plugging it into the formula. Now, surprise. Something interesting happened in this problem. It not always happen, but sometimes happen. Okay. S minus 6 plus or minus. Square root, 6 squared, minus 4, multiplication by 9, can say e, multiplication by 1, can see. Everything inside the radical divided by 2 times 9. Okay, so as always, we focus in the expression inside the radical. And look at what happened, look, look, look. Okay, this is 36. And this is also 36. 4 times 9 is 36. This is 0. It's 0. And of course, square root 0 is 0. And this situation happening is the only possibility that we have one solution in the quadratic equation. Okay? Uh -huh. When the expression, when the discriminant, is expression d equal b squared minus 4ac is zero. We have one solution. One solution the d 
is possible two solutions uh -huh. and when the dn negative complex solution We need to be aware for that situation. Three possibility. The most frequently is these two real solutions. And this, mm, well, sometimes, yeah, you study, but you study now one solution. Guys, the geometric interpretation, this idea is the, the we study in detail this, I promise. But I want to, to explain because it's interesting. Look. The quadratic function, no quadratic equation, quadratic function is exactly the same as ax squared plus bx plus c, but you don't put zero, you put y or f of x, whatever, y, y. Quadratic function, the graph of this, let me try it, is a parabola, like that, a parabola like that. Well, depending, no? sometimes the parabola open up, Sometimes the parabola open down, but we have three possibilities. Suppose que open up. Que the open up or open down depending only for the, this parameter. Si A is positive, open up. Si A is negative, open down. This is a curiosity. I promise you we study in detail in Colorado. We have three possibilities. When you, when you, for example, when you try to find the solution for the quadratic equation, the y is zero. That's mean that the thing that we try to find is the x in a set. So it's is the point in which the parabola crosses or touches whatever the x-axis. So we have three possibilities. And this possibility touches one point, okay, is one solution. When the discriminant is zero, is this graph. Discriminant is zero. When the discriminant is positive, touching two point, two solution. And when the discriminant is negative, never cross it. It's a complex. It's a one interpretation. Complex solution. One solution, real, of course, one real solution. Uh -huh. uh, two. Depending, I don't care if it's rational or irrational, but it's real. It's real. Okay, so say, it, this is not super, super important now. It's just general knowledge. Okay, I will learn to discuss it because it's, you know, it's supposed to get useful. To understand more clear the three possibilities that we have in the solution for this. So let's continue. Let's move on to the problem that we are expanding. Here. I don't finish, you know? Uh -huh. This is minus six plus or minus zero. That part is missing. This disappears, as you want, divided by 80. Okay? And zero is nothing. So you have nothing, I erase. I erase zero, I erase plus or minus. Because it has no sense. Now you reduce the lowest term. Divided by six is negative one third. And this is the answer of this problem. Negative one third, one solution. Negative one third, one solution. Option C. Super. Super. We are doing well or no? No? Yes. One more. One more can bring me new idea. You need to be aware to destroy any quadratic equation. So about this, 17, 3x, uh, x plus three, equal negative one. Wow, what the hell? I have no idea, okay? I try. Uh huh. At the beginning, you don't see clear because somebody do factorization. No, 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 no. But wrong factorization. So you apply distributive. And my goal is try to express it 
this a, a standard form. It's a three x squared. Okay, I saw a square. I know we recognize the quadratic equation. Plus three times three gets nine x. And this negative one, I move to the right, to the left, I get positive one equal to zero. And this is my equation. It's present in standard. So the equation is given. I don't know. Uh huh. And see, in the real life, when you have word problems and you set out the equation, maybe you get the equation weird. So, so now you need to organize and put in a standard and be ready. You are ready now to apply the formula. Recognize A is 3, B is 9, positive, and C is 1. Put my formula. substitution. Okay, negative nine. Be careful with the signs. Be careful, be careful. Therefore, you need training. And to get the training, I prepared the homework in Alex. Square root and B square is nine square. Look, I just plug it in. I don't do any operation. Four multiplication by three gets A, multiplication by one gets C by two times three. Okay, so we I take my calculator and focus it in the expression inside the rack. This is eighty one. Eight times eight, minus twelve because four Multiplication by three gets twelve. Multiplication by one gets nothing. So eighty-one minus twelve is sixty-nine. Mm, unfortunately, sixty-nine is no perfect square. But I need to investigate if possible simplification or not. Sixty-nine is divisible by three. How do you know that this number is divisible by three without doing division only? You put in the calculator, that's it. But you are in six plus nine, get 15. 15 belong to the multiplication three table with three times five, 15. That's a guy. Suppose without do anything, the 69 is divisible by three. Okay, and divisible by three is 23. Ooh, you put a 23 is a prime, and two prime, no couple, because no simplification on the other right. Because I know that to simplify something, I need a couple, at least the factor equal. No. But so far we have minus 9 plus or minus. I got 69 over 6. Uh -huh. I'll leave it like that because we cannot simplification more. No. Remember, we cannot simplify, simplify 9 and 6. Because we have to, as you have another factor here, maybe you factor out like a greater common factor and after simplification, but no, no. In this case, no, I'll leave it like that. It's 69, negative, negative, let me see, let me see, let me see, negative 9, negative 9. That's the option C again. Oh, any problem is C, 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 C. Cool or no? Yes. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Uh, well, this is a square plus 14 a plus 40. Oh, nice. I like this problem because this problem equals zero. Okay, it's already expressing a standard. No fraction. Nice. You 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 say. And the confusing part is that the variable is a. Well, the coefficient is also a. a is 1, b is 14, positive, and c is 40. Apply a formula. However, you consider can I say apply the formula, or we can do by factorization. You discover the, the combination can open the, the key can open the door for the factorization 14 and 40 or not. No, I don't see. Okay, no problem. 
I tried to investigate. And the, the quality formula is a super fantastic systematic way. Uh -huh. And some students say, well, oh, no, professor, but I don't need to factorization. So you have the quality formula. Yes, you are right. Okay. However, uh, the factorization is useful in a lot of things. So the negative 14 is B plus or minus square root 14 square minus 4 multiplication by 1 multiplication by 40 divided by 2 times 1. Okay, it's just 2. Okay, so 14 is square 196. Let me check it in the calculator. 14 square, yeah, 196. Remember, we focus it in this expression. I compute exponential first. It's a 196 minus, and it's a one, 160, yes or no? Because 4 times 1 is 4 times 4 is 4 times 4 is 16, 1 is 0 extra. And so now subtracting a 36. Now you apply square root. And square root 36. Nice. I like that. A6. Because 36 is perfect square root. And so far, we have negative 14. Plus or minus 6 divided by 2. Okay. And you split. A split. Negative 14. Plus 6 divided by 2. And negative 14 minus 6 divided by 2. Uh -huh. And negative 14 plus 6 is negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Uh -huh. And negative 14 minus 7 is negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 2. The beauty is negative 4 and, and negative 10. No? The beauty is, look at that, this option. The beauty is, if you realize, uh -huh, let me illustrate one idea, and let me advise, what is my recommendation when you face this? What are the equations and no specification, the method that you should do, well, you think two seconds, not three, two seconds, to see if it's possible doing by factorization. So say you try to see the combination that open the door of the factorization, so you don't see, okay, no problem. And so say, now I go to that way. It's systematic. And so you see, fantastic. You spend only two seconds more to see that the combination is 10 and four. Because 10 times 4 is 40, and 10 plus 4 is 14. And the sign is possible. And you separate it into a linear equation, super easy. Okay. And you get the same as a negative 10 and negative 1. Uh -huh. You spend 2 seconds, 4 seconds. Maybe six seconds. And this is one of the disadvantage of the quadratic equation. It's a little bit long. It's a little bit complicated the number, maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. But it's systematic. Uh -huh. So you don't see the key get open the door. Okay. Quadratic formula always we solve it. Do you see that or no? You follow me? Yes. Uh -huh. I, I need to hear opinion. What what do you consider is the best way? What do you consider as the best way? Opinion, opinion, opinion. Come on, I need to hear opinions. This is important for me, the, the student opinion. For me, the first one, Professor, but when sometimes we didn't find uh, the two numbers, uh -huh. we uh -huh. apply the second. Okay, 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 okay. You are Elisano? Yes. Okay, 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 I respect. No, it's okay, it's okay. The, the 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 correct answer is the correct way depending of the problem. 
Sometimes it's easy. So you, you try by factorization first. See, it's too hard or impossible because sometimes it's impossible. Uh, you are doing by the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, definitely, you always get answer. Always, always, by factorization. Factorization is nice, but it's weak. Not always you see the combination or, or, or sometimes it's impossible. Suppose that the solution are irrational. Square root something, square root seven, square root 21, 21, 21 is no prime, 23. Uh, you never get by this, this, this kicking open the door of the factorization. Never, never, never. Okay, now let's move in. 19, 19 say 7 x squared plus 3x minus 4 equal c. a is 7, b is 3, and c is negative 4. Be careful with the sign. Remember, mathematics is horrible. One sign that you forgot, or you omit, or you don't care. It's crucial. So minus b plus and minus square root b squared minus 4 ac divided by 2. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Minus 3 plus and minus square root 3 squared minus 4. Multiplication by 7. And multiplication by negative four. Oh, be careful, be careful with the sign. The sign is crucial. Two times sign. Okay. We focus it here and expression sign. Okay, Fabric. Oh. And three squared and nine. Close. Double minus. Be careful with the sign. Normally, the formula have a minus. However, you see one guy is negative, or A or C, double negative or triple negative, see both are negative. Be careful with the sign. So it is, it is positive. Positive what? Positive uh, 4 times 7 times 4. The order is not important. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 7 is 100. 12. Okay, now plus nine, and one twenty one. And now you apply square root. Okay, by the way, it's 11. Wow, one twenty one is perfect square number. It's 11, but so far we have minus three. So minus 11 divided by 14. We're going from 14, two times seven. Uh, immediately, immediately, immediately. Don't watch that. You split. Nobody, nobody using plus and minus. No, you put positive and negative separately. Okay, cool. 11 subtracting 3 is 8. 8 positive, no? Over 14. Reduce and lowest term because both numbers are even. Divided by two four divided by two seven. Oh, no. First solution. Negative three and negative eleven together is negative fourteen. And negative fourteen divided by positive fourteen is negative one. Oh. Four over seven. Uh, in this case, nice because the number that you get inside the radical was one hundred twenty one. And 121 is perfect square number. Therefore, you get two real solutions, but a rational. Rational, rational, rational is a 4 over 7 and negative 1. Let me see, 4 over 7 and negative 1. B. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. I need participation in 20 and 21 because I am boring to do by myself. No? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 is x squared 
equal 7 minus 8x. What should I do? Help me, guy. Advise me. Because I, I am lost. You need to organize the number. Super. Because it's quadratic the equation. Exactly. Putting a standard, right? Because where's the action you should do? Where's the action? Organize how? Move to the left. Move to the left. Who? Uh, minus 7. Uh-huh. Plus or, or plus plus a first, a x and minus okay. seven. Very important, very important. Suppose that you are doing wrong. Suppose that you you for example you put x square, you move minus seven, and you put plus a x. This is correct. However, it's not it's not organized in descending order of the degree. Degree two, degree one, degree zero. Uh -huh. It was no good. I need to, in my mind, in my mind, I have that format in my mind, in my brain. I'm a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero. Quadratic guys, degree two. Linear guy, degree one, and constant degree zero. Okay, now ready. So say, what is the next step? Because I, I am, I don't remember. Please help me. What is the next step after that? Use the quadratic formula. Before that. Let me go by just in case the quadratic formula. Oh yeah, you have to uh, label your uh, your your variables. Excellent. Uh-huh. So what are the variables? A is one, B is eight, and C is negative seven. Cool. A is 1, you say, B is A, and C is negative 7. Mm -hmm. And do it right? Yep. Okay. What is the next step? What is your name, mister? Michael. Michael. Who help me now? What should I do? Now you have to uh, input the, the variables into the quadratic formula. You get negative 8. Uh -huh. Plus or minus uh, radical 16 minus 4 times 1 times negative 7. What is this, 16? Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bottom. Yeah, 16. Yeah. No, that, that's uh, two, right. 2 times 1 on the bottom. 2 times 1. Uh -huh. so it's, yeah. just, it's just 2, right? Yeah, it's just 2. Oh, and what is the 16 Are you talking? 16? Uh, 8 to, uh, that's 64. Um, I see. The radical. I was talking about and 8 to the four. power of yeah, 2. And a time. Okay. So you get 64 plus 28 on the radical. Oh, okay. So 64, you say, my plus 28, no? Plus or minus? Yep. Plus. Plus, because double minus, no? Uh huh. And 64. Plus 28, I put in my calculator, 92. Unfortunately, 92 is no perfect square. Therefore, we expect irrational solution. 92, break it down, is divisible by 2, 46. I did before this, no? And 2 is 23. Okay, cool. A couple of 2, represent 1, 2 outside the radical. So far, uh, radical 92, we can simplify a little bit, like a 2 radical 23. This is 23, no? 23. Okay, this is so far we have minus 8, plus or minus 2 radical 23. This is real, irrational, but real, no i. It's just negative 92, it was just imaginary. We can simplify a little bit. This or no? Uh, yes. Uh huh. How? Uh, uh, we use the, the greatest common factor of excellent. two. Excellent. Excellent. You, he saw in the top the greatest common factor is two, and you factor. Yeah. So we have minus four. Plus or minus radical 23. Because in my mind, a, a break it down like a 2 and 4, no? And 2 go out. 
and for a stay inside the parenthesis, the parameter. And now we can see replication of this guy and this guy. But what is the final answer? <clears throat> the final answer is minus four, plus or minus radical 23, no? Over one, but one is invisible. This is the final answer. Okay. Also, let me see, let me check it, see if we are doing well or no. Okay, negative 4, negative 4, plus or minus radical 23. Negative 4, negative 4, plus or minus, let's see. Let's see. Wow. Feel good in that part, huh? Okay, one more. I want to do my myself. What number is 20, 21. Oh, 21 is weird. Wow. I don't know how. Okay, we have 2x minus 1, parenthesis, x plus 1, equal 1. Wow. This is quadratic equation or no? Look like quadratic equation or no? What do you think? I'm confusing in this equation. You need to multiply first. Exactly. Both exactly. Both terms. It's a binomial. Therefore, you FOIL this binomial. Multiply. FOIL. 2x squared. The outer is 2x. Inner is minus x. And last is negative one. Equal one. Uh -huh. so at least you you see the quadratic. Look at that. These two identification clear. Wow, it's quadratic. These two. What should I do now? I am ready in standard nice. Oh no. You should uh, combine the term and move the one. Uh huh. So, if, for example, I'd like. Uh -huh, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, but it's yeah. big. It would be uh, minus one, uh, minus one on the on the left side. Okay. So two x to the second power plus two x uh -huh. minus x. Uh huh. Two x minus x is uh, x. One x. Minus one plus uh, minus one minus one. Okay, exactly. Minus one minus one. Go to zero. Uh, now, one more time, we combine the term 2x squared plus x minus 2. Something like that? Yeah. Good. Now, in this moment, we have a standard. Yeah, I see that a is 2, b is 1, and c is minus 2. Ready to apply the formula. Minus b plus or minus square root, b squared minus 2ac divided by 2a. Okay, it's minus one plus or minus the square root one square mm, minus four times a two c s negative two divided by two times two. Okay, focusing the expression inside. You forgot the rest. You focus it in the expression inside. Uh, because the student try to do one outside. No, 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 no. Inside. This is the order of operation. One square is over get one. Double negative. This negative and this negative. Together, it's positive. And this is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. No? 8 times 2 is 16. Is 17. And 17 is a primary number. So square root 17 is square root 17. We cannot do anything because the prime is 17 is 17. Therefore, is minus 1 
Poisson minus radical 17 divided by 4. Uh -huh. This is the classical example in which the solution is irrational. The irrational is because we cannot express it like a fraction bueno, without radical, no? In this case, it's mandatory, the radical. But it's a reason that's irrational. Okay, to say it's negative 1 plus or minus 17 over 4. Es es t, no? Es t o es a? T. Es t. Sí, porque es un número negativo. Okay. Okay, super good. Let me try one of them. Okay, delete that. To copy. Let me see if I have another page. This chapter is easy. This chapter is short. But the complicated part, you pass. Okay, this is a review. It's a review. It's a review. Review. Okay, I start at the beginning. Radical equation. Uh -huh. the, 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 the review indicate look, the different step to solving any radical equation. Okay? Always is the same. Uh, number one step is isolate the radical. Not always is isolated, but sometimes yes, it's isolated. Number two is raise both sides of the equation by the power equal to the index of the radical. Aha. Uh -huh. The frequency case is square root. Therefore, you put two power, square root, so square is power two. But not always is power two. See, the radical involved in my equation is cubic. So you raise to the third power. Now, after that, the radical disappears. Wow, fly. And you get the new equation, but you need to be aware that this, no, this new equation is no equivalent 100% to the original. Therefore, it's a strictly mandatory checking the solution for this new equation. Yeah, I believe it's, it's the same of the original equation into the original to verify the true statement. The majority of the scenario, yes, no problem, but sometimes fail. The checking, step four is checking, mandatory. And another equation, so basically, you, you say, well, professor, but you checking always or no? No. In algebra, another equation gets no radical. You want to check if you want to make sure that your answer is correct. But in this case, no, this is totally no normal. This is we obtain after the transformation new equation can not necessarily this new equation solutions is equal to the equation for the region. This is happening not always in the radical equation. You see in college algebra another kind of equation it happens similar situation. But no, it is only radical equation. Okay, let's move on to the ex ex example one. Que es super easy, straightforward. Que es square root x plus 4 outside the radical equal 10. ¿no? Well, este one say isolate the radical. So square root x es equal 10 minus 4. Square root x equal 6. Okay. Isolate the radical. Now I start to say raise to the power of the index. What is the index? Index. You need to know when you have a square root and you see no index, it's because default is a common language of the algebra. It's to ah, CSQ root or higher root in general, you need to indicate. If you don't indicate it's because it's two, and this is a square root. Say four root, okay. So in another equation can contain Q root or four root, so you need to write to the third power. You need to write to the fourth power and so on. 
and here you need to rate to the second one. If you think that so it's x because I know very well okay, square power and square root undos each other equal 36. And this is my potential solution that I need to check. And it's step four. Step four, you plug it in and the region I can never touch waiting for this moment. The square root 36 plus four should be then, yeah, I claim this always. Question mark. Square root 36 is six and six plus four obviously is 10. Okay, true statement. The solution is given. Any question? No problem. No. Cool. Uh, number two is square root x minus four equal minus ten. Uh -huh. This brings me a new complication. Okay, remember step one, isolate the radical. So I move minus four to the right hand side like a positive. Say so minus ten. Minus ten uh, plus four. Uh, you combine it's minus six. Okay, okay, now square both sides. It's 36, x is equal 36. Oh, it's saying answer this, but I need to check. The checking part is square root 36 minus 4 should be. Minus and square root 36 is 6. And 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, no equal minus 10. It is false. Therefore, no solution. Anti set. That's another way to express the same idea. Okay, this is an easy example. They illustrate very, very well. Sometimes we have no solution. And when you are doing transformation, get the potential solution that you need to verify. Everyone follow me? Do you understand very well or not? Yes. Mm -hmm. Easy. Let's do one more. And we we have QB root. Wow, then a new situation. Number three is cubic root of x squared plus 11 equal 3. It's also radical equation. It's also radical equation. Let me anticipate something. When you have index of like a 3, like a 5, never we have a strain in a solution. So never happened that situation. That situation happened when the index is two, four, so even. Even index, yes. But however, suppose that I don't know that. Oh, okay, okay. I try, I check it. But I anticipate an unnecessary check when the index is odd number. Okay, this is why is the first step I forgot. Ah, the first step is isolated. Like, oh, oh, the right is already isolated. So I, just in case, I copy again. But you raise to the cubic power. And one more time happening, the cubic power and cubic root cancel out each other. And uh, this is 27, no? It's 3 times 3 times 9. So this is 3 and 3 times 3, no? Three. 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, this is my equation. Does x squared is equal to 27 minus 11? 16, I guess so. No? Let's see. So it's 27 11. 
voy a dejar 60. Entonces, x square equals 60. Mm, we are. In this step, the new equation that we obtain is no linear, it's quadratic. And it's quadratic incomplete. Because b is 0. Ah, well, okay, the efficiency way to solve and apply is probable both sides. X is equal plus or minus one. Please, when you make a decision to apply a square root method, don't forget double sign plus or minus. And this is the same double sign that we have in the quadratic formula. This double sign comes from the same idea. Okay, nobody, nobody working the quadratic formula using all, always plus or minus. Only, no, no, no. So it's, it's the same mistake. This is mistake is clear for you. It's the same mistake. So you omit this. It's a plus or minus. Because so I need to check in two solutions. Checking for positive or positive. And checking or negative. But I anticipate hmm. okay, uh, no necessary checking. I was supposed to use one. No, you forgot. Because when the radical equation, the index is all number, index is odd number. Never we have a strange solution. Never have a bad situation. No solution. But what? I don't know. Let's check it. So say skewy root. Logging in the original is four square plus eleven. Should be, should be, should be, should be. I don't know if it's true or false. And here is should be root. Let's do them both simultaneously. Negative four is square. Plus 11 equal 3. Oh, professor, what is the reason? Can you write parentheses here and no parentheses here? Well, okay, you can write if you want parentheses here. But here is mandatory, write parentheses because without parentheses is different. Okay, remember, negative 4. The square is negative 16. And negative 4 is square is positive 16. Okay, do you understand this or no? This, uh -huh, Emily. This negative Emily behave like a negative one factor. And this, no, this is negative four times negative four, and this is a subject of positive 16, because negative times negative is positive. So now, it's obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious that this solution. And this solution and the effect of the equation is equivalent because this is 16 and this is also 16 plus. And 16 plus 11 is 27. And cubic root 27 is so book 3. Equal 3 in both the scenario. I don't need to repeat again this because it's the same. This is true. This is okay. No problem. And in this scenario, we have two solutions. Two solutions. Is x equal 4, comma, x equal minus 4. Super cool. Okay, one more and that's it, because I need to, we finish definitely this package Monday. Uh -huh. Now we can dedicate Monday uh, to, you bring me some problem of the homework, you want to do for you. Uh, you maybe uh, are doing a screenshot. Uh -huh. Mike, can you post 
free to interest in your fund. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Michael, give me one idea. Okay, <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh, when I send the video today, well, I say no right now because I need to go to the campus. The campus and doing tutoring to 5 p.m. Okay, I travel to my house. Uh -huh, listen, no, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh, but today, definitely today, so you have time to. Don't don't rush because we have time, guys. Okay, but I will I will send today the test number five and the final, and you working in this. Okay, cool. One more page and that's it for today. See. Oh, this is more complicated. Well, now let me try to do at least one. Number four. And number five, six, we are doing. It's too long, bro, you know. Let's do number four. Four say square root. The square root 3x plus 1 minus x equal equal minus 3 no yeah what should i do what should i do what should i do remember the step one what say step one You got to cancel the radical. No, before that. Stay one. Let me show you. Let me show you. Mister. Read that. It says isolate the radical. Get one radical alone on one side of the equation doing this action. So now I need to isolate square root 3x plus 1 is equal uh, x minus 3 because I move that x to the right hand side like a positive and this minus 3 stay here for life. Okay, now this is the moment you say before. You square both sides. And this allow me destroy, eliminate the radical, no radical anymore. But you need to be aware that this new equation is easier than the original. Is there is no equivalent always 100%. Okay, so now I foil because it's x minus 3 times e is x square minus x3 uh-huh help me help me mine uh negative uh nine negative or positive positive nine yeah and then negative three x excellent okay and what should i do now you uh, add like terms right terms I did well? Yeah. Uh -huh. After that, I am ready? I think so. No. Oh, uh, first of all, what kind of equation we have in this moment? What kind of identification? It's important in algebra. What kind of equation we have in that moment? Name. I need the name of this equation. Name. Maria Jose Name. What kind? Remember, we study basically, uh, well, radical, radical equation, a rational equation when you have division, linear equation, and quadratic equation. Uh, uh, so far, we study four kinds of equations. This is quadratic or linear? It's quadratic. linear. Quadratic. The glue is these two. Look. Boom, quadratic equation. And for Are you trying to get zero on one side? Exactly. Uh -huh. The name of this step, Mister. 
es express it en estándar. O sea, move it to one side and one side is zero. Uh -huh. And my opinion, the easy way is this is stay here. And you move, why not? Minus 3x minus 1 and zero here, right? Yeah. Uh, now, ready to combine. X squared minus 9, no? X plus 8. Is it correct? I did well. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now I need to solve it, but we are experts doing that. What do you What do you recommend me? Factorization or quadratic formula? Remember my advice. You spend two seconds. See if possible factorization. You see, wow, fantastic. I say time. Factorization. Ah, Elsa say factorization because you see the key can open the door for this factorization, Elsa. Um, minus a and minus one. A and one. I am thinking first, okay, my, in my mind, look, I am thinking the factor first without sign. A and, a and one. Because a times one is a and a plus or minus one, and this case plus is nine. And you adjust the sign, same sign, because the first, this sign is positive and both negative, right? Equal to zero, that means x minus a is zero, x equal eight, and x minus one equals zero, x equal one. Okay, and this is my solution. I gotta go. I'm leaving. No, I... we need to oh. check. Check. You need to check it for both. Sorry, this is too long, I know. Checking for both. x eight. And checking for x1. But this is easy because this is arithmetic. You plug it in, replace, replace, replace. It's 3 times 8. You replace x for 8 plus 1 minus 8 should be clean, negative 3. And likewise, 3 times 1 plus 1. Minus one should be negative three. Yeah, I claim this statement because I'm not sure it's true. This is 24, and 24 plus one is 25. And the square root 25 is five. And five minus a is equal minus three. Negative three. It's correct or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. Therefore, the solution A works. Nice. Let's do it once. See what doesn't work. I don't know. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Square root 4 is 2. And 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 3. This is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Totally false. Therefore, therefore. You only have one solution. One solution. Okay, what is the one solution? X equal, uh, X equal 8. Okay, end the story. Very well. We are the best in Miami they call it guys. Okay, go ahead today. At, at approximately 5 30, 6 p.m. I will send the 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 test on paper uh, number five and the final. And you make the decision you take or do, don't take the final. This is your options. First, I haven't graded my test number four. Today I grade. Today, oh. today or tomorrow, 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 because I'm waiting for one pending student. No? Tomorrow, 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 definitely. This weekend, you 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 will see your grade post in Canva. Okay. All right, professor. Okay, take care. Have a nice day. Bye.